Y'all get excited, we are back with another 10 minute meal. This one is a simple, tasty wrap. We're making a chickpea avocado spread with just a couple of simple ingredients on this one. You're gonna love it. Here we go, that's a wrap. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. You know I'm all about making your plant-based diet super simple because that's the easiest way to stick to it. We did a whole episode on 10 minute meals recently, so we're gonna just keep that going because everybody really loved it. If you didn't see that video, click right here and check it out. The number one complaint I get about all this plant-based diet stuff is that it's too complicated. There's too many things I've gotta eat every day. All these things I've gotta make, these recipes, oh my. That's faster to make a 10 minute meal than it is to go out and get food. You know what I'm saying? So if I can make it so that you've got barely anything to think about at all and I'm using all really simple ingredients that you've already got then I think you'll be able to stick to it this is like a six minute or let's be real First things first, I've got two cans of chickpeas in here. I've just rinsed and drained them. These are the no salt added. I'd encourage you to try to find no salt added. And that's why I like to get it out of the beans because these cans of beans have so, so much salt and you can usually find a no salt version of the chickpeas. And all we're gonna do is start by smashing these babies. Just get the two cans in there, smashity, smash, smash. I've got two monster avocados. I feel like them being this big, we'd probably be fine with one. Let's start with one and see where it gets us. I'm always just winging it. Okay. People say, Dylan, you're a chef. I'm no chef. I'm trying to show you that you don't need to be a chef to do any of this healthy food stuff. But you do have to be an expert with avocados to get the seed out, apparently. And then I just take a spoon and we can yank out the guts. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're just mashing a little bit. You could put the other one in for giggles. Yeah, I think we're gonna use it. Like, I, I like a pretty fair amount of avocado in here, so we're just gonna go for it. it we're gonna use two large avocados. Ooh, that one came Ooh, out better. Nice. Okay, let's smash a little bit more. We've got both of our avocados in here. Yeah, that's looking nice and green. Give that a rinse, don't let it get crusty. I'm gonna throw in a nice big jalapeno. You can use a mild, just like a green bell pepper, diced nice and small if you wanna avoid the spice, but I do love the jalapeno pepper. Instead of red onion, which I often use in the guac, we're gonna do some green onions today. I've got three little scallions here, and I'm gonna cut them nice and thin, nice and thin. It don't matter much. Throw it in the tank. We are making a heck of a spread here. Then I've got a pint of cherry tomatoes. This is also going to make it less calorie dense compared to all the avocado. Get lots of tomatoes in there. I love the fresh tomatoes. Tomatoes. They make the wrap really nice and juicy. Okay, we've got some garlic. You've got to have the garlic in just about everything I make. It's got a lot of garlic. I use the cheater garlic, no big deal. By the way, all the amounts and stuff that I've used, we'll put in a little recipe down below in the blog post. You'll have access to this one right below. Just give it a click. Two limes I'm gonna squeeze in. Squeeze it right in the tank with everything else. This is gonna give it such a lovely flavor. Okay, let's throw in a little bit of cilantro. You could use fresh basil for this. You could Ooh. use parsley. It does not matter if you don't like cilantro just pick something that you do like. Boom, a nice big handful of cilantro in there. Notice I haven't measured anything. We're just winging it. I gotta see that bowl. I haven't even mixed it yet. Now, if you want an extra kick of flavor, I love to throw in a little bit of the Well Your World chili lime. Now, I don't want you sending me emails. Oh, all of your videos, now they require your product. This is not required. You don't have to use my product. You can use any spice blend that you like in here, but we're using the chili lime today. We have a whole lineup of different SOS free seasonings, no added salt, oil, or sugar. I also love our starter a salt substitute because it gives it a little bit of a salty flavor without the added salt. So get hold of these today if you can. You're gonna love this chili lime is like one of our most popular things right now. Here we go, let's put this thing together. This is the most gorgeous wrap filling ever. We are gonna use one of my favorite products, the Trader Joe's Whole Wheat Lavash. And then I'm gonna use some of this fire roasted corn. I love the fire Ooh. roasted corn from Trader Joe's. We could have just thrown this right into here and mixed it all together. That would be the easy way. You could throw anything else in here, man. You could do a can of black beans too. Sky's the limit, am I right, Reebs? No. We're gonna build the most beautiful wrap with this cruciferous crunch too. This is just kale and cabbage, all chopped up, whatever. You can use anything. Romaine lettuce is super simple to find. But honestly, if you can find that cruciferous crunch, we use it in almost every wrap. It is awesome in wraps. Okay, step one, let's get it going. I'm gonna throw this in the middle and spread it all about. Get it all the way to the end so it falls out all over your lap as you're eating it. Then it's on to the corn. Sprinkle it on that corn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cruciferous crunch. Take the lavash and fold it over everything and pull it back so you get it nice and tight. And then wrap it up. Cut it at a pretty little angle like Reeb's taught me. And then now you've got yourself the most gorgeous wrap. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
10 minute meals, 10 minute meals, mm -mm -mm, 10 minute meals. It's so rich from the avocado and that satisfying starchy flavor from the corn, that spring in my step from those delicious tomatoes. <laughs> and of course you've got those greens. You gotta got, gotta got those greens. Take it on a picnic, take it to work, take it wherever. Take this with you so you're not tempted to go get junk food burritos. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I was just thinking that I would put that wrap in my purse. Heck yeah, this is a purse wrap. Oh. I somehow only bit the cruciferous crunch. You gotta get that whole thing. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. That's a wrap. Y'all, the recipe for this one is down below, but don't marry the recipe. This is just a template. Take this and run with it. It's like a blank canvas. If you wanna check out more of our 10 minute recipes, click right here for those. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.